Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do another 20 minute video, craft video, see what we can do in 20 minutes. My goal is very <laughs> adventurous. We're going to see ambitious. It's very ambitious, but I'm going to see what I can do. So I'm going to try to make a flipbook slash journal in 20 minutes and see what happens. So uh, bear with me. I'm starting with two Project Life cards that I have already covered and we are going to go from there. If you are curious as to what in the world I am talking about, go check out my previous video and it will give you a lot of the details as to what's happening. Now that I'm actually crafting, I could probably go over it with you guys actually. Um, so what's happening is I am trying to glue the doily to my table. Um, I, what's happening is Missy and I are in a challenge with each other and we are strongly uh, suggesting and encouraging other people to join the challenge. Um, and it's to create in 20 minutes because in our world, crafting takes a lot of time. And so we wanted to try to come up with something, anything that we can do in 20 minutes. So that is where this whole challenge came from because it started with, oh my gosh, I don't want to edit videos. And I'm like, I hear you sister. I don't either. I don't edit my videos. <clears throat> I just turn it on and go. But I have also had very long videos because the crafting projects take a very long time to do. It's, there's just nothing that you can really do about that. So we decided collectively that we were going to challenge ourselves and, you know, see what we could come up with in 20 minutes, no editing, no, you know, sped up time, no speed up time, nothing like that. True, legit. Okay. This is happening in 20 minutes. Um, so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm actually using the doilies as my page connections. Um, and I don't know what kind of flip book this is going to be, but it's definitely going to be <laughs> different than anything else I've put together so far for sure but I think that's a good thing because when we are challenged with time we're challenged with a lot of things it's not just time that we're challenged with I think it challenges our creativity it ch challenges what we can come up with in such a short amount of time because I am trying to have a generalized idea of what I want to try to achieve in 20 minutes before I turn the video on, but that's really it. I have a pile of random doilies over here and um, a stack of these cards. And that was the gist of my preparation. Um, that was it. And I'm going to have to go back and do this one, redo this one, come on, because um, I wasn't able to do what I'm doing right now with the other side. So we're going to go back and do that one again. Okay, right here. So we're just going to flip it over and get some glue down on these little spine pieces. Well, they look like spine pieces. I don't know what they actually are. All right. All right. Now we're going to keep going. Not so shabby so far. I'm less than five minutes in and I got two doilies left. Oh, wait, I might have another one. Yep, I do. Now I just got to make sure I have enough cards. All right. So let's take this bad boy out. Let's not adhere the fingers. That would be not bueno. No bueno. No bueno. 
I'm going to leave the outer ring of this one open. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. But you see it's coming, kind of getting a nice thick spine on it, or it will have a nice thick spine on it. So let's just keep going. I've got fuzz and all kinds of stuff going on on these doilies. And you know what? This is actually really great too because I'm just using the stuff that was on my desk. And these doilies have been sitting on my desk for a hot minute. And here I am using up the entire stash. Well, that is definitely not my entire stash of doilies. Do not misunderstand that. Ooh, Nelly Furtado, I got lots of doilies. I'm not sure which I have more of. Napkins, lace, stickers, or doilies. Because I got a lot of both. Well, all of the above. It's funny because when I see other people um, doing their, their sales or whatever, and they pull out napkins and someone says my name, I'm like, no! Mm -mm, no, 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 need no more. Um, yeah. A lot of times, though, um, I will have the doilies already. That or I am able to obtain them very easily. Um, but I have gotten to wear the, not doilies, napkins. Um, I have gotten to wear... A lot of what I'm looking at and looking for is not uh, national. It is um, from the UK or Germany. Oh my gosh, I love me some stuff from Germany. It is a gorgeous. You know what I did? I forgot to actually. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab a stack over, or I'm gonna grab another one over here. Um, let's grab this one. I don't think I've used this one yet. And I told you, I have a whole nother stack. See? And this, again, is just random doilies. So, we're seven minutes in, seven and a half minutes in, and we might actually be able to get this constructed. I'm not sure about decorating. That might be a whole nother video, but we might, might, might be able to get it constructed. that down pull the strings off all right and fold that over oh come on come on you can do it you can do it good doily all right now we're gonna glue I need to flip my fabric pack over so it will come down to the bottom because I want this to be fabric tack. This lap, this next part, I want to be fabric tack. All right. All right. So we have got a very interesting, wouldn't you say, little book here. Okay. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of going through and making sure I didn't glue it to itself because I went really fast. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to close that up or not. Same with that one. Okay. And there we go. All right. So... And it's actually all pretty well straight. And, I mean, you've got doilies as your connection pieces, so you can move stuff around if you need to. But what I'm going to do is flip my bottle upside down for a second. I did set this one aside. This was the only one that I set aside because I want to make sure that this is on my outside. Okay? But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cover this in lace real quick. And I'm going to let it kind of breathe a little. Like I'm going to pull it apart. OK. 
because it kind of feels accordion-esque. So I'm going to pull it apart a little bit. I'm going to grab my widest lace that I have on my table. And I think that'll be suffice. And I'm just going to have just enough to cover that spine piece. Okay. And I have no idea if this is going to work. Not a clue. All right. So we're going to cut this down just a smidge shorter and make it straight. Okay. And I think, I think that's good. All right. So I think what I want to do is I have two cards left from that whole stack. I have two left. So all of those cards that we, um, that we did, I was able to use up. Oh, that's a piece of tape. Okay. So figure out which side I want. I want that side, I think. And if you want to color, I would color before you glow. I guess you could color after as long as it's like the glue's dry. So we're at 11 minutes right now. It is semi constructed. And I'm going to put some glue kind of where the lace doesn't open up necessarily. But I'm going to then take my glue and put it all over the spine of this thing because I don't want this to come apart because this might be fast but anybody who has bought my stuff my handmade stuff knows that I don't mess around with the quality of stuff I definitely okay I'm going to do this I'm I definitely try to make sure that everything is quality product and so I'm just making a line across the doily where it hits that spine piece. And I smushed it just because it's a little easier. That's all we're going to keep. We're going to open it back up and peel this off our book. Okay. All right, now grab a piece of plastic. All right, we're just gonna leave the plastic there for now because I need to flip this over so I can put some glue on this side here. All right, what's my time? 13 minutes. All right. I'm just going to pick that right on up and then flip it back up. Okay. Nope, it didn't stay up. Come on. You know you want to grab it. It's grabbing the plastic, but not the paper, which is an odd characteristic for fabric tac It's funny to me. All right. So then we're going to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. And pushing it together here is pulling it apart here. And that's exactly what I want. Okay. And it's okay if it's a little crooked. Um, especially with this particular lace because this lace has got swivels or whatever um archies you know that go choo -choo -choo. That, the, those things like that if you wanted to you could move it down some i'm gonna move mine down just a little bit make it look a little bit more straighter oh yeah that's perfect english more straighter mm, good job Sasha. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we've got our spine done, I'll pull this down a little bit more. Okay, now for all intents and purposes, it's done. But 
I'm going to put this on here as well because this is what I really wanted my spine to be. Okay. I love this doily. This is available in my shop. I love this doily. This is one of my favorites, especially for winter. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. It is amazing sauce. Like, I don't even know what to say. Oh, colors is playing. All right. So I'm just putting some glue all around the edge here. And once I get this laid down, I'll go back, I'll lift up and do the puddles one at a time. Okay. Kind of put that circle thereabouts in the middle-esque. Okay. Now it's okay if it goes to the top as long as the bottom is a, is as flush as you can get it, okay? Because um, putting putting it down too far would make it hard to put on a on a desk or a table or uh, any kind of surface like that. All right, what are we at? Sixteen minutes. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm gonna lift up ever so slightly and put some glue here. Okay. I'm not going to go all the way out to the edge of the little flowerettes. I just want it to kind of poke out like that. Can you see? Okay. And then we can move our plastic. It's just in the way now. And now I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of my little flowerette. I keep calling them a flowerette. I'm not really sure what they're called. Um, and which is sad because I crochet, but I mean, it's a, let's see, it's a double stitch. I know that it's actually a combination of multiple double stitches with chain stitches, but, uh, that doesn't tell me what the whole is called. Because like if you put a bunch of double stitches together or a bunch of triple stitches together, uh, you get a scallop or a rose or a heart. Um, and I don't know if they're all necessarily specific stitches, but um, okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm just going to put it straight here and just to the edge on this one. But because it's the spine, I am going to go ahead and glue as much of that as possible. All right. And then push down, push down, push down, push down. It's our time. 18 minutes. Can we do it? Oh my goodness gracious, we have constructed a book in less than 20 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious, I did not think we were going to do that. Oh, that is fantastic. That is just amazing. And then here, let's see, we've got a minute left, literally one minute. All right, let's go with um, as I'm sitting here trying to decide, nope, too much. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to leave it for now. Cause I don't want to put something here that doesn't fit. So that is insane. And I mean, it's made with doilies. <laughs> like that's just cool to me. Oh my gosh. It's a doily book. Oh, that's amazing. I'm just going to stop it here because this is amazing. We did this in less than 20 minutes. That is so cool. I'll explain what this is in the last few seconds. So each one of these cards are project life cards that in previous videos I have covered. Each one of these has the same 
um, scrapbook piece of paper on it. The back piece has either um, vintage ledger, which is this, or dyed paper, which is this. But it all matches, so everything matches together. And then this is uh, scrapbook paper, this is scrapbook paper, and then these are all doilies. I'm pretty sure every single doily that I used is available in the shop. You're just going to have to go and take a look, but they are there all over the place and I have quite a few to choose from, but I thank you guys so much. This was a lot of fun. I can't believe that I got it done in 20 minutes. You guys are awesome and I love you guys. Have fun. Enjoy your crafting time and don't stress out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.